after Mitt Romney's loss in 2012. Many in the Republican Party suggested that they would need to reach out to minority voters to win in 2016, including African Americans. But so far, Donald Trump, some people say, has not done well with African American voters. And he hasn't done well, if you want to look at it mathematically speaking, in the polls. And here in Cleveland, less than 1% of the delegates are African American. But I'm really excited because here with me are sisters Lynette Hardaway and Rochelle Richardson, better known as Diamond and Silk. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you for, for having, having us. us. It is so great to finally have you on our show. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Yes. So first, let me ask you, why are you supporting Donald Trump? Well, I'm supporting Donald Trump because he wants to keep the American people safe. He wants to bring back jobs where we can thrive. And he wants to unite this country and bring back spirit, and that's what we need. That's right. The Republican Party was founded, and the, the idea behind the founding of the party was to unify the country after yeah. the Civil War, at the moment of the Civil War. Um, people say that Donald Trump has been divisive. Do you agree with that? Oh, I totally oh, disagree no. with that. He has been a uniter. Yes. We were formerly Democrats, and we switched our party to Republican to vote for Donald Trump in the primaries in the general election. He had 14 million people to come out and vote for him. He had plenty of Democrats to come off what we call the Democratic plantation mm -hmm. and switch their party to Republican to vote for him. So he is a uniter. A uniter mm -hmm. of all people. Yes. What is the Democratic plantation for people to understand? It's the system. Keep voting for the same system that keeps handing you crumbs. That's that's right. Okay? Instead of bringing somebody in that can show you how to make a whole cake, they just giving you crumbs like an Obama phone. Mm -hmm. We don't need an Obama phone. Give people good jobs and they can buy their own phone with minutes. That's right. Obama, President Obama, for, for you, in your estimation, has not been good for African Americans? Oh, I think not. No. I think not. One thing that I have to appreciate about Donald Trump is he's not afraid to say I'm going to be the best president for African American people. Mm -hmm. I've never heard Obama say that. And, and with President uh, Obama, Obama. He is from Chicago, Illinois. And you have uh, Hillary Clinton that was born in Chicago, Illinois. Neither one of them has reached back to help their own uh, city. Um, so if they do not have the gall to reach back and help their own city, how can we expect them to help America? Mm -hmm. Are you supporting Donald Trump because of Donald Trump or because of the Republican Party? I'm supporting him because he wants to keep the American people safe. Right. I'm a woman. I yes. want to feel safe in my country. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want a border that's secure. Yes. I want a job. I want good jobs here that's where people right. are thriving. Yes. If you have people thriving, then you won't have people killing up each other, mm -hmm. wanting to burn down their communities, mm -hmm. punching their, watching them up in the streets with their fists, blocking traffic if people had good jobs. Yes. So you're never angry about what you think you're angry about. That's right. It's something deep here. Mm -hmm. People are oppressed and depressed. Mm -hmm. It's time for people to come up. That's They're right. tired of staying stuck like Chuck mm -hmm. and dependent on the same system that keeps them that way. That's right. But the sad thing is that they keep voting for the same system that has them stuck in a rut looking really messed up. Mm -hmm. Why That's do you right. think that is? Well, it's because they're conditioned. Mm -hmm. You know, especially we was taught that if you're black, you're supposed to vote Democrat. So it's a, it's a condition of the mind that you're supposed to do whatever uh, the Democratic ticket or whomever says to. That's, that's all that you're supposed or to do. the left-wing media, yes. how they spit it. So if they feed you sound bites That's and right. you listen to those sound bites without paying attention, you would just go along with the sound bites. Exactly. You know, Donald Trump has been in the public eye for 20 or 30 years. Not one time did they start calling him derogatory names until he started running against Democrats. Right. Sound, bites sound bites to sway people. Yes. We can think for our own selves. Right. We don't need you spoon-feeding us a narrative, no, okay? We, we can vote for whoever we whoever. want to vote for. And if we want to vote for the businessman, mm -hmm. the man with the master plan to make this place great again, we will. We will. Right on, right on. Yeah. I can feel you. All right. So let me ask you. You guys were here also. You did a, a sort of a group meeting, a seminar, What Woman Problem. What was that all about? We we did something with Women Vote Trump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> first of all, these are women coming together yes. that support our man Donald Trump mm -hmm. and to give you the reasons why. We know that the left meme, wing media keep pushing this agenda where, oh, where he don't have women voters. That's a lie. Women love Donald Trump. Yes. Minorities love Donald Trump. Americans love Donald Trump. Right. He had 14 million people to come out and vote for him. More than any other Republican candidate Absolutely, in yes. absolutely. So we want you all, the left-wing media, to stop pushing that agenda. 
child. That's right. We that gonna vote for child. him, baby. He's going mm -hmm. to be the 45th He's president of the United States. Y'all better get used to calling him President Trump. That's <laughs> oh, right. If he, gets, if he yes. becomes the president, we will call him President That's Trump. Right. We're absolutely sure. Um, all right, let me ask you. So, uh, the you, do you guys look at these polls where you see only seven percent um, that he is sort of in that realm of getting seven percent of the black vote compared to Hillary Clinton's 91 percent? The polls are meant to trick your mind while they rape you from behind. That's right. We do not watch <laughs> yes. the polls. They, they did the, the same thing in the primaries. Yes. See, what you're not going to do, see, we were bullied until you better vote for the man because he's black. That's and right. now they're trying to push the same agenda, you better vote for the woman because you're a woman. We don't have to vote based on race or gender. We are voting on based on who is going to do the job. Yes. And when we look at everybody, we only see one man, one man. that can get the job done, that's and right. that's Donald J. Trump. And I always say, if you ever want to know what's wrong with the body of people look at the head at the so head. he's a prosperous man so if the head is prosperous that's going to trickle down to the body of people then you're going to create entrepreneurs yes. that can create jobs mm -hmm. and people will start being successful exactly. people are ready to come up they're tired of just being handed crumbs that's right. mm. what would you say to uh african americans in this country to help them get on board the train that you're on board the well they have well they have to take a look at what's going on mm -hmm. you know we call her crooked hillary we call her crooked hillary for a reason right. the clintons ha don't get to play musical chairs with the presidency she don't get to feel like she has some kind of entitlement to the presidency no 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 they were the same people that signed that crime bill into law that had thousands of black men locked up where they couldn't raise their sons that's right you better look at who you about to vote back in. Yeah, you guys are. That's how, that's how, that's we was in, what was in Iowa. That was in Iowa. Yeah, Iowa. Yeah. You yes. better look at who you about to vote for. That's Listen, right. you want to vote for somebody that's going to give you some opportunities, mm -hmm. bring back some good jobs yeah. where you can thrive again, where you can feed your family, save some money, send a child to college, exactly. have a 401k pan. Need, need, do I need to go on? I'm getting I think, you, I think you're getting, getting all heated. Yeah, but, yes. but, but, let me ask you one last question. <laughs> Ted Cruz last night. Uh, what did you think of Ted Cruz uh, saying at the end of his speech, vote your conscience, he's not endorsing Donald Trump? You're, you're giving me a look over there. <laughs> Mm -mm, you know, I'm Ted Cruz right. is toast, done, he's finished. finished. His political career is finished. You don't take and you don't use your political agenda on this platform that's belonged to Donald Trump, because this is his convention, that's right. to pull a stunt like that. That's I believe right. his political career is over. And, and if it's not over, yes. we are going to do everything to have his so-and-so -and -so voted out. That's right. We're going to vote this ass out. And if he did not want out. to be here and didn't want to endorse Donald Trump, don't be here. That's don't right. Don't take the uh, positive energy out of the room. Mm. Stay negative at home somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We are here to unite behind Donald J. Trump. It's because it's united we stand That's and right. divided we fall. A house that is divided against itself will not stand. And if this Republican Party don't get it together, it's going to be divided and divisive. So let's get together, black, white, yellow, red, blue, and unite this party together. The best man has won. He's the best. Mm -hmm. He's the last man standing. He's the official nominee. Let's get behind him so we can whip Hillary. Oh, we're going to beat a girl. I don't yeah. know what you're talking we're about. We're going to get her. <laughs> Diamond what? and Silk, yeah. this has been great. Thank you guys so much for coming by. I appreciate it. All Thank right. you for Thank having us. Thank you for us. having us.